Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship the King of Kings. Let God be praised forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I want to let this person know that God is proud of you. God is proud of you. Even me, there are so many people that feel that you are like a disappointment. Hear me very well. You are not a disappointment at all. For you to be able to still maintain your good identity. For you to still be for you to be able to still maintain your good name against all odds. Not that you have not seen things that would have made you to compromise your good name, compromise your identity, compromise your faith. You have seen things. You have seen things. But you just have the Z to maintain that identity. Hallelujah. You have a very beautiful identity in Christ. And the enemy have fought to change this identity. Child of God, hear me very well. The reason why so many look at you, they are like, ah, I am disappointed in you. It is because the identity you have, they have done all they can to change it. But you stood your ground. Have you been accused before? You don't know why you have been accused. Have you been accused before? Like you don't know what you have been accused. You why you have been accused. You had something about yourself. You yourself start asking yourself, is it me or is another person? There are some things you hear about yourself. You are like, mm, is it me? Like, the thing is spreading, you're like, hmm? does it mean maybe I don't know myself? You are, like, questioning yourself. Why? Because what you are hearing, you don't even, you cannot even explain it. Child of God, I want you to know, the integrity that you have cannot be taken away. No matter what comes in the, in, the, in the life of a man, just like Job, God will always make a way of escape. As long as we don't compromise our faith, we don't compromise our belief, we don't compromise our stand. God was so proud of Job. The Bible says he restored everything and everything the children that Job had became more fairer as if we see fairer than the one he has before you see how proud god was with him that he did not compromise he held on to his integrity that is why i said not that you have not seen things that will make you to compromise that will make you to say no this identity i can't maintain it anymore there are many people they are like ah, i cannot maintain this identity anymore i have to throw it away let me put another one. And the enemy is clapping for them. They are clapping for them. Oh, you have done well. You have done well. They think they are doing well. But those that stand still in the Lord, that are maintaining their good cause, that are maintaining their identity, that are maintaining, ah, Jesus, that are maintaining their faith, the enemy will look at them and say, you are a disappointment. When God is proud of you, the world will be against you. When the world is clapping for you, there is no error, no mistake, nobody is walking against the child of God, it means that there is something you are not doing right. You need to ask God, what am I not doing right? So that you can correct your journey. A man that works with the Lord, we have an opposition. A man that God is proud of, we have an opposition. Even the wife of Job was an opposition to Job. That is the most closest person to him. 
somebody they eat they sleep together they share the same body they have children together you know became an opposition because she could no longer understand the situation of her husband she could no longer understand why this man will not just let go of this god why this man will just keep, keep continue calling god what kind of a man is this you understand the, the woman became frustrated to that level and she became an opposition <laughs> any man or any woman that stand to maintain his identity in christ who has an opposition an opposition will spring forth within the opposition sometimes may not even come from the outside it will spring forth from within if you are a minister it will spring forth inside your ministry those that are closer to you those that you hold on that like you hold in your heart so dear to your heart the opposition will, will, will spring forth from there a family, the opposition will spring forth from there. Why? Because they don't understand why you are still holding or maintaining your identity despite all of the storm. <laughs> but you must remember that no matter the storm, when Jesus is in your boat, you are not permitted to crash. Hallelujah. Your identity has made God so proud, but it disappointed the devil. It disappointed the world. How can a man hold on to the Lord in all of this that is going on? He's still holding or calling on to the Lord. How can somebody don't have food in at home? He's still, he's still praying to God. How can somebody don't have a place? He's still praying. When I was homeless, I was still praying. I was still going to live session. I was still attending to people cases. And people look at me then. They're like, how ah, can somebody be praying and say she's an evangelist? She's a prophetess. She don't have a home. You understand? But that does not mean that. That situation will kill me, will last forever. It was a moment of storm in life. God was taking us, taking us through that experience. So that I will have something to explain, to, to encourage any young minister I see tomorrow that is experiencing that. I understand that I was just passing through it. That fruitlessness, because a journey of homelessness is like fruitlessness. You understand? There is no fruit. That is the causes of homelessness. When you pass through some situation like that, it means that God is passing, taking you through the waters. You know, he said you are passing. He didn't say you are staying there. So when you understand that the situation you find yourself, it is just a passing thing. It is not something that will make you to remain there. You will, you will hold your identity. You will hold, you will head onto your integrity and God will bring you out. Hallelujah. One day I will share all of that story so that somebody who felt that God has forsaken them, you will know that God has not forsaken you. The train time, sometime, can be an attack on your identity, on your personality, on your calling, on what you stand for. So you must hold on to your integrity. Your identity has made God so proud because you held on. Look at Daniel, he held on. He did not deny his identity. I pray may the Lord give you the grace not to deny God's identity in your life. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.